Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. Welcome to another segment of today's Style Marathon with the Tibby team. And what we're going to talk about in this segment is the fundamentals, how they are the absolute, like the fulcrum of your closet. And what is really great about them is when you build them up slowly through time, they really become that link towards things that you've bought in the past and things that you want to buy in the future. So in order to illustrate that in the best way, we're going to show it that way today Absolutely. and on the team, right? Okay, so I'm going to use my red trusty bag here. Uh, I'm just actually trying to show you guys that the bag fits the, uh, the iPad <laughs> and it's a super strong bag. Okay, so just to give context here, I'm wearing our fundamental featherweight ribbed top here. And this guy is so loose and easy and, um, and not sloppy. And that is one of the things that we really tried to think about with the fundamentals is how can every piece imbue chill, modern, and classic. And this is one of those pieces that you've got all of this effortness, but it is absolutely refined and put together. And what makes something a without fail is that you can always wear it with something much more experimental and pushed, but you still very much feel like yourself. So I'm wearing this back with the bonded leather skirt from the collection. This has the windshield, the wiper, not windshield wiper, but <laughs> we get- Just the windshield, car, car wash. Car wash, car wash. thank you. Car wash, thank yeah. you, filmmaker guy, <laughs> telling me the design. Um, but it's something very pushed and interesting. And it's also a very, you know, it's a big investment piece. So I want to really make sure that I feel like myself when I'm wearing it. And then, of course, I'm wearing it with the little hot pockets here. No trademark infringement. But, um, and by the way, the pockets do come off if you ever just need to have them ride solo. Also, this gives you an excuse to buy two pairs because then you can change, oh, you can your, change pockets. Up your pockets. Then you have a whole new shoe. Yeah, but what if you, and if you lose a pocket, well, yes. uh, we'll talk about that later if that happens. Um, but anyway, so I'm wearing the pocket shoe with this. So the fundamentals are designed to really ground you. If they were your house, fundamentals would be your floors and your, and your walls and your roof, okay? They are that fundamental to what your closet is going to be delivering for you. If you were a chef, the fundamentals would be flour and butter. And so the beauty of them is, is that we can try all these new things and still feel so much like ourselves. Absolutely. So I'm wearing the black wash denim slim Charlie shirt from Fundamentals. So this is a base for me. Um, and then I'm wearing the Dominic. Um, so this is essentially we're exploring like past, present, future. So this is present, obviously. And then this is going to be the Dominic balloon pant, pinstripe balloon pant. That's going to be from Springs. So that's my past. Um, and then I have the, sorry, future, past, past. past. <laughs> and then present I have the, um, the furry flip flops from summer. So that is kind of how, the idea behind past, present, future is that we're designing for longevity in the sense that you're going to have these pieces and they're gonna carry you through season after season after season. And do know that like when we design them, it's instantly able to be paired back to things that you already have you already have purchased and then it's just going to bring new life to that so and then grace let's talk about kind of your past present future yeah so of the point course home. and you know talking about the fundamentals really going into my wolf which is obviously a button down i always mention it and this is a game i have it tucked into what would be our quote unquote pass um our acid wash um mini skirt from spring and all this is is just bringing a little bit of texture in it but also what this allows is the freedom to mix something up that's a little bit more you know intentional has a little bit more design to it it allows you to kind of clash this so i definitely put it with this guy and then also if you guys are wondering about how to have a little bit more coverage when it comes to the mini skirt as you can see i just kind of let the gaze peek out right over here and it just gives me a little a tad bit more coverage which i enjoy and then I have it paired with, again, when it comes to past, present, quote unquote, I have my Pedro um, slip-on, my mules, which I absolutely love. I wear them all the time. And yeah. then to talk about future, we'll probably put this guy on, the jet suiting. And this is just a really- So that's the jet suiting, right? Yes. yes. And this is a really great 
style just because this is kind of bringing everything together past present future heritage chill um you know classic and modern and when we talk about modern are the small details that it holds now fyi um you're wearing the size four in this but this is one that we did for the runway show mm -hmm. so it's extra long mm -hmm. so yes it's not going to be it's not exact yeah. but we're doing our best and using our samples uh, <laughs> But just to show some of the things that this can offer, which is this strap right over here, and it's just gonna allow you to kind of play with it a little bit. We always, we've done this with the detached um, lapel Liam, and we're bringing it back just to kind of have this a little bit more modernized, like modernism. Um, and this is just like, you're going from the office and you're going to work or seeing friends afterwards, and you can just kind of have this chill, not commit to putting it down, still on you. What's great too about this is you can see like if you're going to invest in like a brand new piece for the season like this blazer like with this detail I know you you're going to be wearing it with like a black slip dress out at oh, night yeah. but this is where like you wear your clothes play dinner work right so this means like you're going to work and it works but you really are going out at night too and, and just all that different ways of manipulating things but these fundamentals bring it right back down into Exactly, grounding it, making it a little bit more every day. Mm -hmm. And then also with this particular jacket, we do have zipper details that can be really fun and innovative, such as this guy right over here, right in the front. And we've kind of styled it with a belt kind of going through it. So we kind of put a belt through here and cinch it a bit, but still have this back portion. And then we do have this guy right over here as well as an opening and this is just maybe a pocket detail that, or maybe if you kind of want to showcase a, a bit of more detail with a, a dress or a skirt such as the pleated skirt mm -hmm. the matching one to this suiting you can kind of allow that pleating to really have a moment well and what's great too actually can i show something with this yeah, on me really quick with the one of the purpose of these slits because it wasn't like we were inspired by car washes this season. <laughs> like things have a real reason. So when you have this unzipped, you can actually put your hand in the pocket of what you're wearing. And it gives you like all that extra that chill and that ease. And that's why when I tell people, when you photograph yourself in the clothing too, when you're trying it on, take on a stance that has that ease because people when they send me a picture and you're like this and you're like i don't know why i don't look like you and i'm like really because just do that <laughs> and then you like you have all that ease so this flat detail what it is meant to convey in terms of styling is it gives like fluidity and that is a creative pragmatist is something that sometimes it's hard to achieve because a lot of things that are like extra fluid tend to be very feminine mm -hmm. or they tend to be very bohemian. So when you can have something that is like right up in your DNA perfectly, like a blazer like this, but also have it have that ease and that fluidity to it, like yeah, for that's sure. a little bit of nirvana there. It's like familiar, but at the same time innovative. It's, yeah. it's refreshing and that's what, you know, at least what we tend to do with Tibby is kind of always have something that's really familiar, but also just have, um, build these really modern and um, we could call them quirks, but they really all have a function. They all are made for those who have our mindset, which is like we're going from point A to point B to point Z by the end of the day. And we just need clothes that kind of go with our everyday lifestyle. And then- Perfect, so <laughs> again, essentially drawing it back to, drawing it back to like wolf. So essentially you've invested in this piece from fundamentals in the sense that you're wearing this shirt and you have your spring. The great thing is, is that you can, if you wish to, invest in the whole suit in the sense that you get a whole suit, you're able to break it up. It just doubles the wear. I always refer to a suit as kind of my safety blanket in the sense yes. that I have a suit if I need it, but I'm 90% of the time I'm wearing the pants with something completely different. I'm wearing the jacket over gen denim, so on and so forth. I'm so. a sucker for a set. <laughs> yeah. And so when you're laying things out in your closet, in the Creative Pragmatist book, there's a whole section on the construct of the closet. So your woofs, like we said, that is really your foundation. And then the in and outs, for me, that is something very runway driven like this, like what you're wearing in the mm -hmm. Dominic Stripe and what Grace was just wearing in the plaid jacket. Those are your pieces that um, they tug at you. They're gonna really like give you a real like push forward into the now when you're wearing it. And hopefully if we've done our job, you're gonna wear it a ton and it's not gonna be like the frog shoe that I didn't even buy, thank goodness. <laughs> but you know, the frog shoe will live in it. Um, and then in your closet, the top layer here, those are the had to haves. And we don't have 
visuals of those here. Had to haves are very intimate. They're very personal. They're things mm -hmm. that like, de they might not have any rhyme or reason with your adjectives or your modifier, but you were drawn to them. Have those in the tiniest, tiniest quantities, please. I have a beautiful, beautiful beaded bustier top from Ikram. I've never worn it once. That's fine. I just certainly don't need 10 of them in my closet. I have a bat winged comb de garçon, like double breasted blazer that I wear maybe twice a year, but it's still there and I still love it. Yeah. And I, I'll get to it, you know. Um, I also, do we want to bring on Miss Molly? Yes, please. Sorry. Hi guys. So also Molly. again, just driving home that point in the sense that Molly is in, uh, investing in the, again, the fulcrum pieces of her wardrobe in the sense that she's got the perfect unisex tee in basalt again. We've got that featherweight pleated pull-on skirt and this is light tan. So this is a different color than the winter one, just so you're aware. Um, and it is a midi length again as well. And then we have it pulled back to spring. So if you invest it in the Aran blazer and the hazel green, this is a fantastic way to carry again that past piece into something that is very present. And then we have future. She's actually wearing the Rudy currently as well. Um, I love this blazer specifically. I had, I got both colors in the suiting um, because the color really harkens on a fall element, but the fabrication was meant for that, that lightweight spring um, weather, essentially, I, so. So I just want to do this. Yeah. One of the things that you did right away when Molly came out yesterday in our run through <laughs> was you Dress pushed your sleeves up, right? Because yeah. it mm -hmm. felt a little overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So in terms of like fixing yourself in your closet, to really get something to where you want it to be instead of just like dumping the whole thing out and starting over again, is if you were to put this on and you were to say, I feel overwhelmed, for me, tucking in the hair, doing the hair tuck into the jacket or pulling it back and then pushing this up is a great way to um, to really give that, yeah. like, <laughs> socks in a pocket. Um, but also, so now you feel a little bit lighter, but maybe you feel too feminine or, you know, one of the things that a lot of people tell me when they buy the pleated skirt is they're like, okay, I put it on, I want to be like a little bit cooler or maybe it's just too, it feels too modest for me or whatever. So the thing is, is this is where we employ antonyms every time. So if you put on the skirt and it feels a little too directionally, um, uptown refined right yeah. um then make it strange add a sock you know like add in the good strange so if you feel to put together di dive into something that is a little more disheveled if you feel too um prissy put in something that is like a little more cooler and chiller as well so go for those antonyms to fix your outfit it's not about dumping everything out onto the floor and so just putting in the sock right now just gave it a totally different vibe. Absolutely. And the sense that these, again, the tools, in the sense that there's that icky, there's that glossy, there's that structural, that sculptural, the irony, yeah. you know, that's really what we're kind of driving home in the sense. Yeah. Of and, and, and this is where kind of getting through the book is important because you'll see that even though we're talking about fundamentals here, we're immediately diving into texture, proportions, and then we've got all the color here, right? She's like got all these neutrals on and then she's got that pop of red for one ton or none. So the book is really helpful for laying all that out. Um, and then I just wanna show you, I have paired the black leather skirt here with the athletic knit bomber, which I'm absolutely like insane about because it's got the zipper details here. And I mean, it's just so, it's just so chill. It's like the perfect bomber. And then I got more pockets. She's hiding chips in here too. Yeah, or cookies, except I smushed, just so you know. smushed them. Um, <laughs> we can't do that. But anyways, really grounded um, here. I also just kind of wanted to touch on, I think we've, we've driven home the idea of past, present, future, woofs, ins and outs, had to haves. And then I think a lot of the questions I get in my DMs are based around like, okay, so I'm, you know, I'm new to Tibby, what are like the three fundamentals that you would, you know, what's your starter kit mm -hmm. in, a, in a sense? And mm -hmm. I, I usually always, 
like inform my clients, I think the best thing to do is invest in suiting right away. Even if it's not yeah. like a three the three, three piece suit, it can be a pant and a blazer, okay? Because again, I told you it is my security blanket. You can break these up. You're gonna get double the wear out of everything. And since you can wear this alone, with many different things, you can wear this, and then you have that suiting. So my first pick is the Max. So if I had to base it off current fundamentals, I would pick the Max because I'm craving a little bit of newness in my blazer selection because I have a bunch of Marlins and I have every color of Liam. So I really feel like this shape is just bringing me a little bit more newness. And I think what's important to think about is, like we said, we think that these are the elements that we would all start out with. What I want to caution is a lot of you DM me and you say, I'm not a blazer person. I can't cool. do it. And I've tried to like unpack where that comes from. And I think one of the things that I've uncovered is that when people say that, you kind of feel like you're putting on someone else's costume. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are working from home. Maybe you are in a small town and you feel like there's something a little asshole-ish walking around in a blazer. And so the key is like, if you want to be a blazer person, but you're saying that you haven't been able to make it work, we've got tips for you. Like always mix it with something sporty. When I talk about a bifurcated closet, I always wear my, my blazer over my workout clothes. So there are ways to force it into your wardrobe mm -hmm. that will fill anything like you're trying to pose as someone that on paper that you're not. But if you say that you're not a blazer person and you mean it like, and I don't ever wanna be, fine. <laughs> but I bet you are this person. Exactly. Yeah. Just and I, I'm always wearing my blazer with, with old with old denim. Yeah. Like that's just my, my formula. Yeah. Um, and then I am particularly drawn to the balloon pan, as you can already tell. Yeah. Um, I just love the sense of like, it harkens on my modifier of nostalgia in the sense that it gives me almost this 1950s like menswear element. And then I also... And still a pan is my first go. Yeah. And so really like whatever pan you choose, it's going to be different depending on uh, who you are. But the Stella Pant, absolutely, because of that malleability, the ability to hike it up, belt it, cinch it, et cetera. Let, let's show Molly yeah, let's show real Molly. quick, because she's got on the <laughs> skirt here. So I had a lot of DMs asking me if you can match the sweatshirt to the skirt. Absolutely, you can. Um, and then you're wearing it with the boot, yep. which gives it like a totally different vibe as well. So the idea, guys, is if you're gonna do something like invest big in a great boot, what you wanna do is make sure that you wear it a lot. And so when it goes with your fundamentals, that is absolutely a contract between you and the new piece, you're gonna get a lot of wear out of it. And, um, and that's a really good thing. Yeah. You know, cause it's such a pisser if you buy something and then you get it home and you realize that in order to wear what you bought, you have to put together like, you have to go buy seven yeah, more things you. to make it work. Mm -hmm. So I always tell people, when you are shopping or when you're trying on things in your closet make sure that you have your key fundamental pieces there especially when you're shopping and i know because i do this when we're designing whenever tracy brings in a new design i always have the fundamentals there because if she brings me a new piece that requires the brand new skirt and the brand new yeah. sh shoe to pull it off then it's a piece that's going to really fall flat in the collection so fundamentals are really really key for that and you've said that you and Tracy think about past collections when designing too, right? Yeah, because, you know, I um, nothing is ruder to me than a designer who shows a spring collection and then before that collection is even shipped, their next collection is like, fuck you, we hated everything we showed. And you're like, what the hell? Like you really just took it, like the pendulum and swung it in a totally different way. And so what we're always aiming to do here is create things that it's not that kind of pendulum shift because we're still the same person day after day, but we know that we wanna push ourselves and evolve and try new things. So you will not get the same thing season after season because that would be rude as well and it would be horribly boring and life is short and you wanna look great and feel great. Um, but we will do things that will always have connective tissue with what we've done in the past. Question. Any questions? Um, what jacket or outerwear would you put over Molly's sweatshirt? Um, over Molly's sweatshirt, when you have got something like this with a bigger sleeve, you really need to put on something that is engineered to be quite oversized. Or if I had a Liam blazer here, um, as I just said to like always have a, a woof out. But I mean, certainly I'm gonna show you the leather bomber is a no-brainer. 
And then Patrick, maybe if someone can bring me a Liam, that'd be great. I just do mad face in the camera. You did. It's <laughs> <laughs> dramatic though. Drama <laughs> face. Okay, what size is this? Okay, can I have a size small in the yeah, yeah. So I, I, I really want to show the size, please. Okay. There you go. Um, okay, so I think it's obvious that the bomber works, right? No brainer. So let's find a blazer that works. And so, dun, 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 first time. Okay. How do you feel? Did you get a lot of junk up in there? No. Oh, you got some junk. Yeah. Some junk. Right. So listen, if this junkage bothers you, it wouldn't bother me. Yeah. And you're good. Yeah. Um, and you can wear this because it's got the drop shoulder. So what you can't ever do, this one's got a raglan sleeve and this has a drop shoulder. Mm -hmm. So when something has an inset shoulder and the other two blazers in the collection have an inset shoulder, you cannot have, an, this has an inset shoulder. You can't have an inset shoulder on a blazer worn over something that is raglan. So you wanna make sure that that works together. Um, and then the other option that I love as well and how we showed this in our fundamentals video that we did was we had her wearing a big shirt underneath and this really allows for that. So I think that's a great way to layer. And then um, one of our favorite things <laughs> <laughs> from the collection for sure was the gloves and um, I really love a good glove and I think this is a great way to kind of show it off with that this length yeah and what's good too is you know obviously like it's a really rich soft leather glove but wearing it with a sweatshirt just like takes it down in such a good way and it really like hello Hello, Miss Glow. That looks really great. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Another one? Another question? Someone wants to know if you're overhauling your wardrobe, yeah. what are the fundamentals you need for a, a solid starter kit? So, you know, really think about what are the key bottoms that you need. So for me, I would always want a full pant and a slimmer pant. I would want a pant that's gonna sit high and a pant that's gonna sit lower. And really focus first on shape. So shape comes before nailing all the different textures and permutations. So the reason why fundamentals are great is because we've really thought through that lens when we create the line. So even though you're thinking about shape when it comes to the fundamental pieces, fundamentals 99% of the time are in fabrications that are 12 mowers. So they're gonna work all throughout the whole year. Because what you don't wanna do is build out that closet and focus just on shapes, but then have one like in a really thick mohair, one in something kind of like a linen or something. So 12 mower fabric is key. Shell Modern Classic is key. And then you know that you need some core bottom shapes. If you're a skirt person, which I am, I always need a pencil and something a little bit fuller. And then you need the great jacket and you need the great shirt and your t-shirts, anything you're wearing should have a point of view. So if I'm gonna wear this top here, it's gonna either be up high or it's gonna be down low, but it's never gonna be this like, hi, I had no idea what I wanted to be. So I just did this hoping that it would work. This is like the Kate plus eight. Next slide. It is. Is that bad? Uh, I hope so. Oh, well. That checks. So, that checks. I think the people get a little... You know it gave you a visual. Well, it, well, it gave me a visual for sure. Okay, can I see this happening here? Okay. So this we love. And one thing that happens is sometimes we create something and it goes into collection first and then it graduates into fundamentals. And so this vest got its graduation papers because we ended up doing it and we thought, oh, you know why there's a vest trend happening and we're really into it and that feels really fresh. The thing is, is it felt really fresh and then we were wearing it and we were wearing it a lot and we realized that it was such a problem solver in the closet. So when you really wanted to be put together, this was something that did it. When you wanted to wear something in the office that was a little more fun and not too structured. Like this became the thing you could wear it out at night. Anyways, it became the problem solver. So those key fundamentals in your closet 
they have to really solve a problem. So when you're thinking about buying something that goes into that category, release yourself from thinking, will I look hot in it? Or how much do I like, is it like super goose bumping me, right? Release yourself from that first and go at it first from that, from the point of how many problems does this solve? Like if I have this fuller pan, when I'm wanting to be really comfortable on an airplane, but I still want to get an upgrade if someone's handing them out, this is a pant that's going to do it for you. I mean, it's just going to be a problem solver. If you have crop tops in your closet, you can hike it up and make that top not seem so crop. So is it solving a problem? Can I wear a PDW? Can I wear it 12 months out of the year? And if those boxes are checked, yes, then you go through the practice of, is it something I love? And is it something that I'm gonna feel really good about myself in? So yes, 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 means you put it in your closet. And the interesting thing that we have found is when I first started Tibby, when you had um, an aspirational customer or when you had a customer who was younger and starting to really build out their wardrobe for the first time, the old adage was, you're going to buy the thing that went down the runway, that caught your eye the most, that like was like the sparkle. And what we found is, the reality is, that people are getting so smart about this and the opposite is true. And so what we're finding is, for that person who is just starting out in their career, if they're really, really wanting to make sure that everything that they are investing in has so much long-term value, then fundamentals, bar none, are like the absolute place to start. And I'm gonna bring back Molly for one little, because oh. we wanted to again, we're we're taking it and using this skirt as a pure yeah. fulcrum in your in your wardrobe. So we've literally shown you this three different ways. So yeah. we're really driving that point home. So this is the uh, denim tie. It's the fall 2023 lightweight stonewash denim tie neck men's slim shirt. Lightweight. Wow. Don't I'll say that. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and again, this is where you you've literally invested in this skirt, and now we're we're pulling from full line the sense of that, that and so you can wear it in many different ways maybe do you want to kind of yeah you can wear it down you can like there were times in the shoot where we just wrapped it around and tied it in the back like this to give it some definition um and then you can full-on give it like a pussy bow moment i hate saying that I just the best. Is that a word? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just don't like that word. Anyways, when we do yes, a, <laughs> a when we do a loop, <laughs> when we do a pebo, what we tend to do is we do the loop only on one side. So when you leave this down, it takes away from like all the overt girliness or any overt costuminess to it. And so costumes are good, girliness is fine sometimes, whatever. But when you want to feel more like yourself, kind of stripping it away from the costume moment and giving it that one loop gives it like a lot of ease. And then you can turn it here into a pure cow neck as well. Yeah, I think for like the colder months in the sense that you can, and I love that it's tied around Molly's hair there just to keep it back. I know, I want long red hair to go with my <laughs> jeans. Um, okay guys, so the Creative Pragmatist book, it's really got the deep dive into the fundamentals and how they all link into that CMC PDW and 12 mower and how you'll be able to wear them with everything that you've got in the past and everything that you are going to look to invest in in the future. And um, we are going to go on now to another segment. So we're going to take a 10 minute break and we'll be back and I'm going to go, I, I, I definitely need some coffee. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe 15 minutes. Yeah. All right. Bye guys. We'll see you soon.